Bună ziua! Another day in Romania and today we're going to do something very exciting. Today we are visiting Sarna Mesa Regia. It's an archaeological site of the ancient Dacian Empire. So from the parking, it's about a two kilometer walk uphill to get to the ruins. Only one kilometer to go. How are you feeling? Ah, cold. Extremely cold. Well, at least you're running and stay warm. I have to. So despite being a very significant historical place, it's not a high tourist yeah. attraction. Yeah. But, kind of nice. Sweet. Get the place to ourselves. What was that? What? What? Sounds like a bear. Bear? place was discovered at the beginning of the 19th century by the archaeologists. Initially they were looking for gold and later on they realized that there's something important here. So this is the capital of the ancient Dacian Empire. Important for two reasons. One is its significance to ancient Roman history plus the Dacians are the ancestors to the Romanians. So this guy here is Decebal. This was painted by my wife Mihaela and it's available on Amazon in the US. Anyways, this is the king of the Dacian Empire. I should say he was the last king and the most famous king of the Dacians. He was the last because Dacians were conquered by Romans. And this reminds me somehow of the Forum and it is regrettable that out of the greatest civilizations we, we have so little left and we will never know the full glory and the full beauty of it. It is not known what kind of gods were worshipped here and who this temple was dedicated to, but based on what is left here, we assume that it was a huge, uh, tall building. After the Roman conquered Dacia, they destroy a big part of what is left here, so we will never know how it looked like. We're seeing a lot of shiny stuff on the ground. Uh, historically this was a very rich place for gold so we were thinking hey maybe it's gold but <laughs> I doubt it. So what's unfortunate about this visit is that my sister and brother-in-law Alina and Bogdan are not here because they are big-time Dacian fanatics and they know a lot. They could give us all the history. I hope that shot turned out good because that was hard to film. This is the altar. They use it for sacrifices. From the middle there are 10 rays that divide this whole circle in 10 parts. So in Rome today you can find art, mainly sculptures that depict the Dacians and it's clear by the way they're portrayed that the Romans respected the Dacians, even though they were a nation that they fought and ultimately conquered. Earlier there were a few people here, I think it was a bunch of kids from school. But now, other than us and a couple of guards, there's nobody here. It's kind of amazing to have such a significant historical place all to yourself. So, let's talk about language. Romanian is a Latin-based language. And when it comes to language, Romania is an island surrounded by Slavic-speaking countries. So the question is, is how did Romania come about to speak a Latin-based language? And there are two major theories for this. 
The first is that the Romans conquered the Dacians, assimilated with them, and the Dacians adopted the Roman language, which was Latin. This is what children learn today at school. And the second theory is that the Romans and the Dacians had a common ancestor in the Thracians, which would have given them a common language. It's not very popular, this option, but a lot of people believe that this is the truth. It's believed the ancient Dacians were eating milk of chocolate. So. Okay, not so much, but... Ta-da! How much to visit Sarmis Ejetuza? 10 lei, which is $2.50. Well, that's it for Sarmis Ejetuza. As for me, I would say it's a must visit. I can understand how some people aren't in the ruins, but if you are somebody who loves history, loves Roman history, loves Dacian history, this is definitely a must. And check out my Dachabal painting and Dachabal merch. I'm going to put a link in the description.